Hi everybody and welcome to Oscar Outdoors. Join me in this one to do some stealth camping in a tent. Right, welcome back everyone. So as in the little intro, today I'm going to be stealth camping. Um, if you're a follower of me on Instagram, uh, you'll have seen that I've packed up my Sleeker Force 35 uh, backpack from Snugback and a Nordisk Svalbard S1 or 1SI tent, I think it is. I'll flash it on screen because I'm not quite good with the name as yet. Um, but yeah, because it's a stealth camp, I don't want the light on too long um, and everything. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set the tent up uh, and then I'll bring you back. Don't mind the DTs, obviously I'm uh, recording freehand at the moment. Uh, but inside the tent you've got this little mesh pocket there. And as you can see I've just sort of thrown all kinds of gubbins in there. So my car keys, a phone charger, um, a power bank, my wallet. Um, and I, you got the same on the opposite side which you just got my head torching. Um, obviously here you can see I've got the one wind poncho. Um, I still need to do a review of that so because it's really really ah that good um, and then i've got my little survival pouch just because it's got a spark in and then some coffees and then just a little tripod for whilst i'm in uh, the tent uh, this is what i'll be cooking with tonight so it's just one of them cheap sort of nesting pan sets uh, a can of gas and then one of the little stoves here that one of my subscribers recommended um matt so i'll uh, leave a link to where i picked that up from uh, but yeah, that's that side. Let's spin you around. As I said, just on this side, just my uh, head torch, my HM65R Shadow Master from my Phoenix. Uh, I am expecting a, a new one from them very shortly. Let me just show you down the bottom. You can see it's uh, quite spacious down there. I'm just a little under six foot, five foot eleven, or five foot ten in a little bit. The little bit counts. And I'm perfectly sort of flat. Um, I'm, I'm a bit of a wriggler when I go to sleep, so I might have to move around a little bit, but look at all that space down there. And then above me, I've got my, my Phoenix CL26R. So the sleep system tonight, this is my uh, pillow that I made from uh, the Snug Pack underquilt that I made on the bespoke hammock setup. This is the Snug Pack Softy Hawk 9. Uh, I think it might be a bit too warm for that, so I might leave it unzipped. And then sleeping mat is the Carrymore Explorer. First time I've used uh, this mat, so I'll uh, give you a little opinion on that in the morning. Oh, I forgot, in that corner, see that in this little drawstring bag, is just some uh, base layers just to sort of change into, so I'm not sleeping in my wet clothes, because it's starting to rain a little bit. Well, I ain't going to lie. I've just had myself a nice little power hour. <laughs> been at work all day um, and been all late this week, so it uh, messes with your body clock a little bit. So I just had a power hour. Um, just got comfy. Laid down listening to rain and wind. Um, there's not a great deal of rain, but there's enough to sort of relax you, if that makes sense. 
but I'm getting a bit hungry now and obviously I want me uh, my can of style that I brought with me but yeah I really like this tent so far well comfy enough to nod off wanna <laughs> right let's get cooking right well if you've tuned in just for the cooking I do apologise but as it's a stealth camp I've just gone for something simple tonight and it's back end of month and I'm uh, pretty brassic which means uh, skint if you're not from around these parts so I've got to keep it simple ring pull can as well always makes life easier when you're out in the woods can't believe it's 10 o'clock after 10 o'clock Cheeky power hour. <laughs> right, let's get that on there. Sit back and wait for it. So what it is, uh, just a Lidl's hot chicken curry. So uh, we'll see if it's up to my standards in a bit. Just while that's uh, cooking away, I'm just going to show you what I've got in my little survival pouch. If you've not seen the video on this, I'll flash it up on screen for you now. Wind's picking up. A bit of rain too. Uh, but yeah, what I'm going to eat with is the little spark that I've got in this set. Not ideal, but yeah, that's the set. All kinds of different little bits of gubbins in there. Get ready for this meal. Well, this hasn't taken long at all. Had the stove on really low as well. It's a nice little stove. Watch the rush while you're out, you can hear the wind. Yeah, I'll just give that another minute just to make sure that it's all cooked through. Not as spicy as I'd like, but it'll suffice. Right, right away. Cheers, everyone. Why not? Right. It's supposed to be a staff camp, and I've got my filming light on. What am I like? <laughs> right. I think it's time to eat. Let's get this off that stove now. Left to lose your right tight, you Scott. Let that cool for a minute or two. Right, I'm going to sit back and uh, try and enjoy this. Have my beer. So I'll see you in a minute. Well, I had my tea, had my couple of drinks. It's not a great deal you can do when you're supposed to be staff camping, is there? Um, where I am, I ain't got permission to be. Um, so obviously, I. Uh, need to ICL it out in the morning as well so but yeah this tent has been really rather comfortable as well I've just got the uh, the vent open at the front just the mesh on shore 
there's like a liner door and then the mesh door and then obviously the door of the tent as well so it's like a triple fret but it's uh, been really quite comfortable and warm um, I haven't put my base layers on because I am just too warm I've just got my t-shirt on um, yeah that's it unless how exciting happens yeah like this wind and rain picking up I'll see you in the morning I'm hoping this way that wind and rain too can't feel the thing in the Just like Sheldon. Oh. Struggling this morning. Sounds like it's raining again. Oh. I've been warm and toasty all night. I think I've been too warm at times. Um, comfortable. Don't look to be too much condensation. It's what you'd expect from a big sweaty block in a tent. about to get up and the rain's starting a little bit heavier so I'll uh, stay exactly where I am for a few minutes see if it dies down a bit well I'm impressed I've just managed to get myself dressed sat up <laughs> and that's due to like the uh, the high rise of the Svalbard um, probably about three foot, maybe a bit more, I'll show you. So I'm sat up and there isn't much room, but I'm sat up and for a, a one man tent, that's cool. So another thing that I'm uh, quite impressed about is, I've had the storage cases and stuff in the porch, and I'm going to be able to put everything away from the comfort of my mat so I don't have to go out you know and get my sleeping bag wet I can do that in here before we get out now, I've not normally got a lot of wriggle room in the stratosphere for example let's say as much as I love the stratosphere it's not the best for wriggle room and things like that so. Get this zipped up. The rain's eased off a little bit. So I'll just pack all this away and I'll see you in a minute. you should always try to check where you put pitching your tent as well because right here and if you can see the contours if you watch my hand there is one hell of a lump there whether it's a rock or a tree stump or something but something that I've pitched the tent on now I have got the bug net open then so the bugs are trying to get in out of the rain but as you can see I've mainly packed everything away as well 
um, at all from the comfort of being able to lay down here. You saw me uh, compressing the sleeping bag, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I'll get finished off. Last couple of little bits. I'm going to start to take the uh, little palace down. Well, I've been laid here just reluctantly wanting to get out of my tent and uh, get sorted. But I think I'm going to have to bite the bullet now, so uh, I'm going to pack up. And thankfully, I've got this with me. This is that one wind uh, rain poncho. So if I think on it, I'll try and get a little bit of footage of me uh, sort of wearing that on the way out. But absolute quality bit of kit. Bit of kit. Bit of kit. I've uh, worn it on a couple of like night walks and stuff that I've been doing recently. So, uh, right. I'm going to... Uh, finish getting saying up and my voice is a lot better now isn't it right well that's me done for another video uh just a quick simple overnight uh, stealth camp so if you've enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if you're not already please consider subscribing to the channel by pressing this and i'll leave some more videos over there and there for you see you in the next one